Idiopathic pulmonary hemosiderosis is a lung disease of unknown cause that is characterized by alveolar capillary bleeding and accumulation of hemosiderin in the lungs. It is rare, with an incidence between 0.24 and 1.23 cases per million people. History the condition was first described as brown lung and duration by Rudolf Virchow in 1864 in patients after their death. Wilhelm Seelin later correlated his findings to the clinical symptoms of two children who died of IPH in 1931. The first living patient was diagnosed by Jan Waldenström in 1944. It has been given several names, including hemosiderin accumulation pulmonary hemosiderosis, brown in duration of lung, essential brown in duration of lung, Celine Gellerstedt syndrome, pathophysiology, being idiopathic, IPH by definition has an unknown cause, it is thought to be an immune-mediated disease. The lung bleeding causes accumulation of iron, which in itself causes additional lung damage. Meanwhile, there is insufficient iron for inclusion into the hemoglobin molecules inside red blood cells which carry oxygen to body tissues for cellular respiration. Idiopathic pulmonary hemosiderosis can occur either as a primary lung disorder or as the sequela to other pulmonary cardiovascular or immune system disorder. pH1 involves pH with circulating anti-GBM antibodies. pH2 involves pH with immune complex disease such as systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE. pH3 involves no demonstrable immune system involvement. A distinct subset of patients with pulmonary hemosiderosis has hypersensitivity to cow's milk which result in formation of Ig antibodies against basement membrane. This is called Heiner syndrome. Mechanism of hemorrhage is similar as in good pasture syndrome. Related or similar conditions There are many pulmonary problems that may seem to mimic hemosiderosis but do not necessarily include the deposits of iron into the lung. The deposition of iron in the lungs, occurring in the form of hemosiderin, is the defining characteristic of this illness. These other conditions may occur separately or together with hemosiderosis, pulmonary fibrosis, adult respiratory distress syndrome, immune complex disease, intraalveolar bleeding. Diagnosis Clinically, IPH manifests as a triad of hemoptysis, diffuse parenchymal infiltrates on chest radiographs, and iron deficiency anemia. It is diagnosed at an average age of 4.5 plus or minus 3.5 years, and it is twice as common in females. The clinical course of IPH is exceedingly variable, and most of the patients continue to have episodes of pulmonary hemorrhage despite therapy. Death may occur suddenly from acute pulmonary hemorrhage or after progressive pulmonary insufficiency resulting in chronic respiratory failure. Treatment Corticosteroids are the mainstay of treatment of IPH, though they are controversial and lack clear evidence in their favor. They are thought to decrease the frequency of hemorrhage, while other studies suggest that they do not have any effect on the course or prognosis of this disease. In either case, steroid therapy has significant side effects. Small trials have investigated the use of other medications, but none has emerged as a clear standard of care. This includes immune modulators such as hydroxychloroquine, azathioprine, and cyclophosphamide. 6. Mercaptopurin is a long-term therapy may prevent pulmonary hemorrhage. A 2007 scientific letter reports preliminary success in preventing pulmonary hemorrhage with the antioxidant N-acetylcysteine. Prognosis Death may occur rapidly with acute, massive pulmonary bleeding or over longer periods as the result of continued pulmonary failure and right heart failure. Historically, patients had an average survival of 2.5 years after diagnosis, but today 86% may survive beyond 5 years.